The idea behind this video is to actually show you how to make a very simple, effective flyer in Microsoft Word 2010. Remember, what is the point of a flyer? The point of a flyer is either to get your point across, to sell something, whether it be a book, to announce an event, whatever the case may be, you want to get your point across in the slim, simplest manner. What we're going to do, the way I'm going to show you to create a, uh, a flyer is basically just to use an image, use some word art, and use a background. That's all you need. You need to keep it simple whenever you do anything of this nature. So let's go ahead and start. What's the most important thing when you're creating a flyer? Probably the most important thing and probably what catches the eye is actually an image. So how do you insert an image? And basically what I'm going to do is search an image off the web and insert it to show you how to do it. I try to shy away from clip art. And for those of you taking my class, you should not use any clip art. So I'm going to go ahead and do a, a flyer on something I've done in class. Some students were interested in before. I'm going to do it on how to sell a puppy. Okay. And what do you need in this flyer? You're probably obviously going to need the image. You're going to have to need contact information. Price in this case may be optional because what's the hook when you're trying to sell a puppy? When they see the puppy in person, then you can actually tell them the price. That way they won't be scared away potentially. So first things first, we need to insert an image, okay? So we're going to go up here in Microsoft Word, and we're going to go to the Insert tab, and we're going to grab an image off of there. It's a picture, and I'm going to look for my picture, okay? And I'm going to look on my desktop, and I'm going to see if I can find this image that I'm looking for, okay? It'll be just a second here. So I went ahead and found my image. It's a puppy image, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and and choose it and I'm going to insert it into my Microsoft Word document which is the beginning of my flyer. So I'm going to go ahead and insert it. A couple of things you notice here this image looks a bit large. You can by the way decrease your or increase or decrease your frame of reference here at the bottom where it says zoom out or zoom in. So this gives me a better idea of what's going on relative to the actual size of the page. On this actual image there's certain things that you can look at First off, notice you have some squares both on the sides and on the top. And in the corners, you actually have some circles. These both can increase or decrease the size of the image in your Word document. But some more important things here. The ones in the corners, actually, when you increase and decrease the size, this actually maintains your aspect ratio, maintains the relative size of the image. If you use either at the top or the bottom, the squares on the side, the rectangles on the side, this either makes it wider or thinner, taller, or shorter, or however you want to call it. By the way, and I'm going to basically go back to where I was to begin with. And also, this right here, this is a little green ball here, allows you to actually rotate the image if you so choose. Uh, before we get into more information, notice that just, this is what's called a contextual tab here. And that actually allows you to do things with this image, picture effects, picture borders, things like that. You might want to explore that as well. I'm going to sort of leave it this, the way it is because I'm trying to give you a simplistic version. First off, the problem everybody always runs into is it's very difficult to move your image around, right? And if you type something, what happens? The whole image moves, okay? So there's a trick to that. There's actually quite a little trick to that. If you actually click on the image and then you right click and you go to where it says wrap text, you can then go behind text. And what this does is they'll put the image in the background. So when I click on this, look at what's going to happen. Now when I go over my image, notice it gives me my little four-way arrows going in all directions. I can left click on this and I can hold it and I can now move it around. I can move it anywhere around with no issues. Okay, So I'm going to go ahead and place it there. Uh, one other thing here, so that's how you actually put an image there. And you can put multiple images if you so choose. But that's how simple it is to put an image. I can change the size now. I can change the size later. So what's next? What's next besides the image? Obviously, you need your text. Or we're actually going to use what's called word art. And you want something to catch people's attention. So for example, I'm going to insert pieces of word art. So to insert pieces of, of word art, I go to where it says insert. And then I go to where it says Word Art, and I choose a style here. There are many different styles, and you can manipulate this any way you want. I'm going to choose red, for example. Okay, And you can change this style later. 
strictly up to you, but I'm going to keep it simple at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this style of word art in red, and it's going to give me an area of text. In this area of text, if I click within it, I can now put what I want to put down, and I'm going to put uh, puppies for sale. And obviously, I don't know the exact breed of this puppy. I probably should have gotten that beforehand. But I'm going to put puppies for sale, and it's kind of kind of self-evident. I'm going to put uh, puppies for sale. So I have my puppies for sale here. This is actually a, a box for word art, and I can change the size of this. I'm going to go ahead and highlight this whole area, puppies for sale, and I'm going to go to my home tab, and I'm going to manually put in a number that I want and see what it looks like. How does that look? Let's go ahead and make this a little bit smaller. How does that look to you? Um, maybe just a bit bigger, maybe. Let's go ahead and change it to 60. Okay. So this is now bigger. Of course, now whenever we work with it, we can, of course, uh, change the size a little bit here. And I recommend putting one piece of word at a time. You can also now move it, move it around wherever you want. Okay. So when we have puppies for sale, we could put something uh, here below it. What could we think of, put out? We got to think of some sort of catchy phrase, perhaps. So I'm gonna put another piece of word. I'm gonna say maybe "ready to go to your home" or "ready for your home," and I'll put it below this. And I'm gonna go to put a new piece of word art. Go to the Insert tab, and I'm gonna go to where it says Word Art, and I'm gonna want to basically use the same style. You want to continue to use the same style if possible. Okay, so I'm gonna put it, and it's gonna come up. And I'm going to move it around a little bit. And I'm going to say, ready to go home. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and move that around. And I can adjust things here in and out. Okay, ready to go home with you. That looks about the right size. Okay. So I have that. Let's go ahead and add. What else do we need besides that? Obviously, we need a way to be contacted. In this case, I'm not going to put the price. Uh, I'm going to say, hey, when they come see the puppies, I'll spring the price on them. Okay, so I need some contact information. So let's go ahead and insert some more word art here below. Once again, word art, same style. And I'm probably going to have to drag it down here. And I'm going to put, make up a name, call Paul. And uh, I could say at um, just make up an area code, a phone number, and area code as well. Call Paul at eight three zero seven nine one six five three four. Move it there below. And um, I'm also going to give an email address. You can also put if you want to call between the hours and so and so, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. You could put the price, things of that nature. Okay. And let me go ahead and get zoom this out so we can get a better idea of what's going on. Go ahead and fix this up. Or I could say, I could actually put the email as well. Go back to insert another piece of word art once again. And, um, and, it, and it tries to give you what you had before. Go ahead and move that out of the way. And I'm going to put an email address. I'm going to put, uh, I'm just going to put Paul, um, Paul S. Guy at gmail.com ball.sgm at, at gmail.com and you might want to make this a little bit little littler so it doesn't interfere with as much how do we make it a little you obviously go to the home tab change the size maybe to a 30 perhaps okay and obviously there's a lot more things you could add to this I might want to make this a tad bigger Adjust this as well. And I could probably actually, if I want to, I could make my puppy picture bigger. Okay. And this is supposed to catch somebody's eye. So that's what we're attempting to do here. Okay. How does that look so far? Looks decent enough. 
rather simple. You can't get more sophisticated, but what I'm trying to tell you is that basically you want an image and you want to use word art. And you can change these colors. It's up to you to play around with how to change the size of the text, how to change the style of the colors. I'll leave that up to you. So one other thing that we want to add, perhaps, we can add a background color. So I'm going to go to where the tab where it says page layout, and I'm going to go to page color. And I'm going to choose a color that actually goes with this. I'm not quite sure what goes with this. You can actually get a preview as you go over these page colors. Okay. And I'm trying to think of what a good page color would be. Maybe a light blue. Let's, uh, I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and see what, what happens here. Let's see what we can find. And I'm just going to go ahead and choose a light blue. There might be some contrast issues here, but that's up to you to adjust it. I'm just trying to show you the basics of this. And I still look like I need some adjustment here. Move this number up. Okay. And like I said, I could also put, if I wanted to, I could also put the price and some other things. But I'm trying to show you some simple things. Finally, if you want to, you can even put a page border. And you can choose the style of your page border here. And you can put a color. If I want to put a red color to go around, I can then choose my type of page border. And then I click OK. So notice I now have a nice page page board. This should catch somebody's eye if it's put on the bulletin board. Okay. So the basic things, once again, if you want to do a flyer, number one, you want to keep it simple. Number two, you want to get a nice image. Number three, you probably want to use word art. And you also want to have the proper information. Number four, put a background. Number five, maybe put a board if you so choose. Remember, you need to put the information that you really need on there. Only what you need, no more than that. So anyway, that's my little tutorial on how to do a flyer. Uh, if you have this as an exercise, go ahead and do it. You can play this over and over again on YouTube so you can see exactly what I'm doing. Everybody have a good day.